Pontiac Bonneville 1971-1976. For 1971, the Bonneville was downgraded in the model hierarchy, as a new top-line Granville series was introduced. In effect, it replaced the discontinued executive above the lower-priced Catalina. The Bonneville had new monokick styling and was offered in three body styles, a pillared four-door sedan, four-door hardtop sedan and two-door hardtop coupe. The standard engine for 1971-72 was a 455 cubic inch V8 with two-barrel carburetor that was rated at 280 gross horsepower for 1971 and 185 net horsepower for 1972 and optionally available was the four-barrel version of the 455 rated at 325 gross horsepower in 1971 and 250 net horsepower in 1972. The on-paper power ratings reflect the change in power measurement undertaken by the industry for 1972. 1971 was also the first year for Pontiac and other GM divisions to reduce compression ratios on all engines across the board to operate on lower octane regular leaded, low lead or unleaded gasoline, reflecting a corporate edict anticipating the introduction of catalytic converters in 1975 to help meet increasing stringent federal and California emission requirements. In mid-1971, a turbo-hydromatic transmission, power steering and power front disc brakes became standard equipment on Bonneville and other full-sized Bondiacs, as well as other full-sized GM cars. From 1973 to 1976, the Bonneville's standard engine dropped to a 170 horsepower 400 cubic inch V8. Optionally available was the 455 four-barrel V8 rated at 250 horsepower, 186 kilowatts, for 1973-74 and 200 for 1975-76. In 1973, Bonneville was the only full-sized Bondiac to offer a radial tuned suspension option package which included the steel belted radial tires along with an upgraded suspension with ply HL shock absorbers and front and rear sway bars. The RTS option was expanded for 1974 to all full-sized Bondiacs and radial ply tires became standard on all 1975 models though an upgraded RTS package was still available as an option. 1975 saw the end of the Pilla Erlis two-door hardtop model, replaced by a coupe with frameless door glass but with a thick B-pillar and fixed rear opera window. The 1975 model year introduced rectangular headlights, its frontal appearance was similar to the Cattle Activilles and Fleetwoods of the same era. With the demise of the Granville series after 1975, Bonneville once again became the top-line full-sized Bondiac series, with a Bonneville Brougham model featuring the luxurious interior appointments from the departed Granville. Adjustable pedals were optional in 1976, the last year the Bonneville was offered as a Pilla Erlis four-door hardtop, all subsequent Bonnevilles would have a thick B-pillar and metal-framed door glass. <laughs>